In this lesson, we're going to focus on something called summon amplifiers. In order to create a summon amplifier circuit, we're going to use the 741 op amp device. Now, a summon amplifier is basically an op amp circuit that produces an output voltage that is proportional to the sum of all of the input voltages. So I'm going to draw the circuit real quick. I'm going to use three input voltages. And here is the third one. Now the non-inverted input, we're going to send it to ground. This is going to be the output, and you could have a load resistor as well. So let's call this a V out. And of course, we need our feedback resistor, RF. And then we need our supply voltages. So this is going to be R1, R2, and R3. And the voltages applied at these three different inputs will be called V1, V2, and V3. The output voltage of this circuit is going to be the feedback resistor with a negative sign in front times V1 over R1 plus V2 over R2 plus V3 over R3. So as we can see, the output voltage is proportional to the sum of the input voltages. So let's go ahead and work on an example problem. So here is an example problem that you could try. Feel free to pause the video and determine the output voltage of this particular summon amplifier given the input voltages V1, V2, and V3. So go ahead and take a minute to work on this example. So let's begin by writing the formula. The output voltage is negative RF times V1 over R1 plus V2 over R2 plus V3 over R3. Now, notice that all of the resistors have the same value. The feedback resistor, RF, is 5 kilo ohms. R1, R2, and R3 is the same. So because all of the resistors equal each other, we could cancel all of them in this equation. So RF will cancel with R1, R2, and R3. So for a circuit, for particularly a summon amplifier circuit, where all the resistors have the same value, the output voltage becomes the sum of all of the input voltages with a negative sign. So in this particular example, it's going to be negative 2 plus 3 plus 5. So the output voltage is going to be negative 10 volts. So this is the answer for this problem. Here's another example problem that you could try. Calculate the output voltage of this particular summon amplifier circuit. So this time, the feedback resistor has a different value than R1, R2, and R3. So let's use the same formula. It's going to be the feedback resistor times V1 over R1 plus V2 over R2 plus V3 over R3. The feedback resistor is 100 kilo ohms. So I'm just going to write 100K. And then V1, that's going to be 10 millivolts. I'm just going to write 10 instead of 10 millivolts. R1 is 10K. V2 is 20 millivolts. R2 is 10K as well. V3 is 30 millivolts. So I'm going to factor out this 10K resistor. So it becomes negative 100K divided by 10K times the sum of the input voltages, which is 10 plus 20 plus 30 millivolts. So notice that the feedback resistor is 10 times higher than all of the other three equivalent resistors. So therefore, the summon amplifier will amplify the sum of the input voltages 
by a factor of 10. The sum of the input voltages, 10 plus 20 plus 30, is 60 millivolts. Multiplying that by 10, this is going to be negative 600 millivolts. So that's the final answer to this problem. So with the sum and amplify circuit, you can either increase the magnitude of the sum of the input voltages, that is if RF is greater than the resistors, or you can actually decrease the output voltage relative to the sum of the input voltages if these resistors are higher. So you can increase or decrease the sum of the voltages. It's up to you. So that's the basics of the sum and amplifier. That's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you'll see me in the next video.